My name is Patrick Maté, and I'm a character designer for Sony Picture Animation. I was born in Paris, but uh, I grew up in Clichy, uh, next to Paris. I started to draw uh, very early. I used to draw my toys. I was not I was drawing them more than I was playing with them. I used to draw uh, the Smurf because the thing is, in the 50s, they started to sell the merchandising for the, the Smurf, and they were everywhere. And I remember getting, uh, the, for my first pair of glasses, they, they were giving us a Smurf. Or if you were going to a petrol station, you were getting the album of the Smurf. So uh, I remember drawing them a lot and, you know, drawing the, the toys and the stuff. I think at around 14 or 15 or 16, you, you sort of, uh, you have to choose a career. You know, your parents say, what do you want to do later on? And for me, it was, I knew it was like a future, a possible future for me. So uh, that's when I started to look for, uh, for, for, uh, for places to go, to, to practice, to train and to uh, a job, to, uh, for, to, to get a job in that, uh, that media. And I, by total hazard, I sort of discover uh, animation following a friend to uh, the Goblin. And I picked a flyer, I looked, it was animation. And I, I came back and I, I, I read uh, what, was, what they were doing and what was the training and stuff. And I said, this, this stuff is for me. I, sh I, sh I should already do that. And, uh, and I started to read about it later on. Because when, as a kid, I thought animation was, they were real. You know, I, I totally was, I had never thought that somebody was actually uh, doing them. You know, like uh, drawing by drawing, creating uh, the character. So, so I, I went, I presented my portfolio. Uh, we passed a uh, test and... Uh, and, uh, and after that, I had another interview and I, I got uh, taken. At the end of the Goblin, uh, in May or June, uh, there's the ANC Festival. That's where they were some people were recruiting for features that were starting in Paris. The first movie that I worked on was uh, uh, Pisha, The Big Bang. I finished my own TV show in France. I got a, a call from, uh, from my friend uh, uh, Bibo, uh, Eric Bergeron. And uh, he told me to, uh, if I wanted to come to visit him, I knew he was in London working on Fievel uh, for uh, Steven Spielberg. I went there, loved the city. I love London. I was like fell in love instantly. I went to visit also the studio and uh, it was uh, the studio uh, Emblemation. Uh, and I showed my animation of my TV show to, uh, to Eric and some producers uh, were there. I remember Steve Wigner and uh, the director, Simon Wells and uh, uh, Phil Nibling and some other people were there and uh, so I showed my work and they, they, they asked me if I wanted to work there and I said yeah, I, I'm <laughs> I didn't even think twice. The, so the first movie I worked on at, uh, in London, in Amblin, was uh, uh, Five All Goes West. For the first year I was uh, trying to uh, capture everything that was around me and uh, learning and learning English and getting used to everything and, uh, and I met my, my future wife. Uh, she's English. I fell in love. <laughs> then we did a, a movie uh, called uh, We're Back, The Dinosaur Story. And then uh, the last movie we worked on there was uh, Balto. And then they, just, they told us, okay, hold on, we are moving to LA and start something else there. So, uh, so we, we just, uh, we all pack up. Uh, we were like LA, you know, just after the earthquake and the riot. And we, uh, we arrived there and uh, it was different. I mean, Europe is so different from LA. Uh, so it was a shock of culture for all of us. In Los Angeles, uh, we, had a, we had a little meeting. My wife had just arrived and uh, it was this, her first day. And uh, uh, we were sitting in, around a, a little table. Uh, Jeffrey, that I never seen before, was there. Steven Spielberg was there. And uh, they all told us, uh, we are doing uh, Prince of Egypt and uh, you are all moving from Emblemation to DreamWorks on the other side of Universal Lot. I worked uh, for like five or six years. I was a, a supervisor animator. And uh, at the end of Spirit, uh, uh, I decided to look also for, uh, for character design. Uh, they, there was a break at that time, a gap, and they, they called me back and they said, you know, uh, um, we, we were thinking about you, we have a job for you, basically, to do a character design on Shark Tale. For 14 years around, I, I did character design, and I got this call from Sony Picture Animation. Uh, uh, they were looking for a character designer 
to work on the Smurf and uh, the director was Kelly Asbury, a very nice guy, I really love to work with Kelly. Somebody I knew very well because I worked with him on, on Prince of Egypt and Spirit. So he, to work on the Smurf, somebody, something I actually uh, grew up reading and I, I jump on the occasion basically. My, my job in, uh, on, on the, the Smurf movie is to be like, uh, well, uh, Kelly called me the, the Smurf specialist. Uh, uh, just that to capture the universe of the Smurf and try to bring it to the to the to the movie we want to make. In France, we have different uh, uh, style of uh, of comic books, and uh, Peyo is part of what we call the Belgium style. It's very typical. It's very uh, um, uh, very round, uh, very cartoony, very animation based. So I, I knew all that universe. I grew up with all that 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 things and uh, and. I, and uh, when they, 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 wanted, they told me that they wanted to capture this, I, it was easier for me to, to know exactly what point was uh, very typical and very spe specific to uh, uh, that style. I'm happy to come to work every day uh, at Sony and, and keep the, the style of Peyo alive and, and bring the, that universe to, for people to, to, to know and, and love.